Now, in questions like question number eight, in which they have two objects, one is a goods train, let's call it G, and the other is an express train, let's call it E. The goods train is passing a station at a steady speed, so the speed time graph would look like this. In questions, it's easier when you can visualize it using using a diag using a diagram. So let's say, ji, ye graph banta hai goods train ke liye. Ab saati mein, I'm going to make a graph for the express train as well. So ye maine line kenchi vertical and let me just pull up a horizontal line for you very quickly. Yeah, and here is my horizontal line. Thank you very much. And then uh, I was thanking the ruler for helping me <laughs> create straight lines. The express train leaves the station with a uniform acceleration of 0.5. So we're, remember, we're drawing velocity time graphs. So the velocity time graph would be like a straight line passing through the origin. Ye acceleration the ga constant. Just as the goods train goes past, both trains move in the same direction on the parallel tracks. How much time passes before the express train overtakes the goods train? So that means ke they have both traveled the same amount of distance. So this is your express train. This is your goods train. Or dono ka jo area under the graph at the same instant was same because they would have covered the same distance. Now, they've given you the acceleration, so you can use S is equals to UT plus half AT squared. Initial speed is zero. S is equals to one half of AT squared. This is the distance. This is this area under the graph. Right? Acceleration given it, so half into 0.5 into T squared. Okay. On the other side, because you were traveling at a constant speed for the goods train, so ye jo time T hai, kya kata, jab when you cross, to usi instant pe you've traveled the same distance. So, ye jo area under the graph hoga, ye to bada simply nikal aega. Uh, 10 into t, this is the distance that you've traveled. And they have covered the same distance because they're overtaking each other. So, 10 t must be equal to 0 0.5, oops, 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 t square. So, ye t or ye square cancel or 10 divided by 0.5 ka square karo. And the time that you get is 40 seconds.